Hello guys here is top 20 tips and tricks in PUBG Mobile. BGMI Noob to Pro Guide and Tutorial Tip number 1 Play on Low Graphic Always play on smooth graphic and frame rate should be extreme on 90 FPS to spot enemy fast. Tip number 2 Use fast internet connection in low ping you will kill enemy in 3 to 4 bullets. Tip number 3 Use best headphone. Hear sound properly of right and left footstep for example. Tips number 4 Sensitivity setting is different for all gyro and non-gyro player as per the device I will upload full sensitivity setting video on my next video. Tips number 5 Give damage and come inside. Great. You're about to Always win. take cover the and blue fire. Team is heading to a perfect win. Tip number 6 Try to use claw control I am using 4 fingers claw control If you want to use 4 fingers claw control code is on description copy and paste in your control. Tip number 7 Learn peek and fire in TDM. Target down! Cover me! Kill! Tip number 8 Always give free fire. Tip number 9 How to improve your aim and reflexes Play daily 5 minute in training room and practice this drills in training room to improve your aim and reflexes Second drills how to spray on moving cars and bikes practice this drills 5 minutes daily. Tip number 10 How to improve jiggle movement Try to play daily 30 minutes in TDM to improve your jiggle movement by using joystick right to left or left to right. Tip number 11 Crosshair positioning or placement is arguably one of the most important aspects to master in PUBG. If positioned correctly, it allows you to have an instant advantage over your opponent when taking raw aim duels, as you will have the better chance of a first headshot. Tip number 12 Drop Shot is a technique in PUBG Mobile where players prone and shoot at the same time, to catch the opponent off guard. PUBG Mobile pros recommend that players incorporate drop shots into their gameplay for better performance. Tip number 13 Block Position This is very easiest trick use is so tricky. Basically I block their way from where my opposition will come. Always hold particular position where not more than one enemy can enter. You can either hold a door entrance or you can block the stairs. This trick is my weapon while clutching. Tip number 14 Aim Assist Aiming plays a big role while taking down any target. 
even if you are using aim assist it doesn't matter because aim assist will never let you magically spray on your target cover me dead reloading tip number 15 recoil control controlling the gun's recoil is one of the most important things to win a gunfight and beat the enemy in pubg if you are not good at recoil control then your aim will choke and you will be defeated so easily by your enemy if you are good at recoil control then you can even take down an enemy in the long range too attachments can additionally help in gun recoil control in pubg 1 muzzle attachments 2 for grips 3 stock tip 1 gun recoil control through ads aim down sensitivity in this way you will have to just pull down your finger mainly thumb to control the recoil of the guns it is great for newbies many professional players also use this technique to control recoil like soul mortal h you will have to be near perfect to perform pinpoint laser like sprays with ads since it's quite tough to keep the gun stable you can set your ad sensitivity according to your comfort tip 2 gun recoil control though gyroscope is another way of controlling the gun's recoil and moving the crosshair in this way you will just have to tilt your device to control recoil and move crosshair it is comparatively easier to control recoil in gyroscope than the ads there are many professional players who use gyroscope like fnatic sc0 utop smint donathan h but gyroscope is not that good for close range fights keep that in mind you can set your gyroscope sensitivity according to your comfort tip number 16 hipfire do you often lose close range fight even after practicing for hours also known as hipfire it is basically shooting without opening the scopes aiming down the sight also known as a ds hipfire totally depends on your crosshair placement and is very effective in close range fights shooting from the hip becomes more inaccurate the farther away the target is due to weapons range restrictions recoil bullet drop or bullet spray only use this method in close or mid range tip number 17 grenade when you are pushing into a compound mainly squad houses or big apartments always use grenades to get an initial knock on your enemy team it helps you to take control of the fight for this try to throw grenades while listening to footsteps of enemy players after that try to throw a well-cooked grenade so that the enemies don't get a chance to dodge the damage from grenade explosion tip number 18 improve aim accuracy try to play tdm and arcade mode to improve your aim accuracy and win close range fight tip number 19 use vehicles can be used pretty effectively as cover and hiding spots many times travel almost the entire game in a vehicle and stay relatively safe since other teammates and vehicles can shoot at enemies However, if you are playing solo, it would be advisable to stop, get out, take cover and shoot when enemies lock onto your vehicle. The reason? Well, you cannot shoot back and the enemy can easily blow up your vehicle, thereby incinerating you. So, when your vehicle begins to get hit in solo mode and the shots are landing, you should get out of the vehicle and firstly, take cover behind it. Assess where the shots are coming from and then line up your shot, try using, peek, since it provides the most cover, and eliminate the impending threat. Tip number 20 Plane Path If you are really bad at memorizing the plane path, this tip is gonna help you a lot. So at the beginning of the game in Spawn Island, open your map and click on the mark thing now create a line on the plane path by tapping on each end. Later when plane path disappear this will be very useful to determine where the player will most likely be so you can either avoid those places or go find player.